Ah, Sir Arisen. You are returned, I see. The people despair at the state of the world, and that despair easily gives way to anger. I maintain order as best I can, but for every fire I extinguish, it seems three more are incited behind my back. But enough of my woes. What brings you here? You wish us to evacuate? Mayhap the idea merits some thought. After all, if we sit on our haunches, it is likely only a matter of time before we share the fate of Merlin. Alas, the people of Batal are far from united in purpose at present. Should we proceed, unheeding of their divisions, I fear that our efforts would come undone ere long. With every soul at their wit's end, conflict is like to spark at the slightest provocation. As such, before we take any measures, I would have you walk amongst the people, Sir Arisen. Behold their plight with your own eyes. And should you encounter any discord, pray do aught you can to resolve the people's quarrels and assuage their fears. Such efforts will doubtless allow the evacuation to proceed all the more smoothly. As for me, my work here is far from done. Let us part ways for now, and reconvene when you have accomplished all you can. Flared tempers are understandable given the circumstances. Let us aid in mediating the quarrels arising in the- I'll not take that from you! You'll get what's coming to you! Me? I sell defensive. Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you... Many thanks. teachings on so ask away my hammer is at your just relocating a forge is no laughing matter pleasure doing business with you works work no ah, you're just riding on your father's coattails you slander my honor, sir. I demand a duel. This is no business of yours. Be gone! Now, now, Navra, let's not be too haste. If we are to duel, we ought to have a witness. Otherwise, who's to say the victor fought with honor? Aye, true enough. Without a witness, either of us could simply kill the other and disavow the use of any underhandedness. Well, sir, what say you? Will you watch over us while I take this scoundrel to task? This knave dared to slight my honor. He said my swordsmanship was hardly fit to wound a training dummy. The bloody nerve of him. <laughs> and I'd say it again. It was your dear father's patronage that made you a sentinel, not your own skill. You have my gratitude, sir. Let us delay no further. Come, Scario. Prepare yourself. Have at you! Stay back, lest you get caught in the fray. Concern ourselves with strategy. 
Whatever we do, our victory is assured. I, I admit it. I underestimated your skill. The loss is mine. Nay, it was I who underestimated you. You'd thought to score an easy victory, but you fought fair and capably. We owe you a debt, sir. It is on your account that we've seen some sense. Were it not for your timely appearance, I'd wager this nonsense might have cost one of us their life. Indeed. Better to hone our respective skills than take up arms against petty slights, I say. It seems some things can only be resolved by crossing blades. But I doubt they'll quarrel again after this. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. I'd not begrudge a kind the world in which to meet my end. Pray be at ease, sir. This is a tavern. So life in this country can be hard to bear. But I won't let it. Well, I'll be. Oi! I saw it first. <laughs> Trust a flea-ridden hide to take it all for himself. Uh, why must I share with a fangless one? This is no more your food than Batal is your land. You there! You couldn't have come at a better time. Put this upstart in his place for me, won't you? Go on, lay into him. If that's what you think, why don't you mind your own business? All right, clear off. Pretty words shan't fill our bellies. kind of you. If only our fathers could do the same. Oi, leave my kid alone. You're not some child snatcher, are you? Wait. You shared your food with them. I... Thank you, sir. As for you, Nomos, it would seem we were both but looking out for our children, eh? Aye. Mayhap we're not so different after all. And we both our children fed. We've no reason to quarrel. The desire to protect one's kin transcends race and culture. It just goes to show, we are none of us so different. Outstanding. I've had well enough of your nitpicking. 
I reckon the world would be better off without you. Oi, you! Don't go poking your nose in our business. This is between us. I leave off or we'll make you. This one's got thick skin. You're telling me? I don't think I've got another punch left in me. Wow, oh, I can't stomach more quarreling after this. It's drained the fight right out of me. Too right. I've clean forgotten what we were arguing about to begin with, if I'm honest. The citizenry speak highly of your deeds, Sir Arisen. It seems you have made rather an impact. The people of Batal are beginning to see that they must stand together if they are to survive this calamity. We shall see the fruits of your labors when the time comes to evacuate. Methinks we can expect little opposition to the announcement. Pray, return to Empress Nadinia and apprise her of your achievements. I must remain here to ensure no further squabbles arise. Heavens only know how many lives you have saved this day, Sir Arisen. I hope you will accept this humble reward for your efforts. What say we report back to Empress Nadinia? Her Majesty ought be willing to commence the evacuation now. I know not what to call it, but a miracle. Empress Nadinia has returned to us from beyond the veil of death. Her Majesty has begun her supplications. She prays for the world to be delivered from its doom. I must ask you to wait till she has finished, ere you seek an audience with her. One of our ministers informs us that you have been espied in the city, resolving the people's troubles. You have our gratitude, for it seems your efforts have served to remind the people of this nation of their common purpose. We would present you with this gift, as a small token of our esteem, and wish you good fortune on your journey, wheresoever it may take you. Yet, ere we part ways, we would make another request of you. It regards Lord Phasus. Though we have implored the man to join the evacuation, he has staunchly refused to leave this land behind. We thought that he might be more inclined to heed your words, as our own have fallen on deaf ears. Would you be willing to call on him in our stead? Of course, you are free to decline if our proposal is an unwelcome one. Pray excuse the interruption, Your Majesty. But I fear time is upon us. I would see you prepared for the road ahead. Indeed. Forgive us, but we must take our leave. Farewell.
That Vatal and the rest down are now safely evacuated. I'm certain we can rely upon Sir Manella to keep... That was certainly worthwhile. I can scarcely see a thing in this murk. I suppose I have little choice but to entrust it all to you. And hope you prove yourself to be up to the task. I suppose I have little choice but to entrust it all to you and hope you prove yourself. Does my lifelong work hold no meaning any longer? Long have I researched to realize this dream. The world is in an unfathomable state. Why must fate be so cruel? This is maddening. The world is in an unfathomable state. Fen. Some skills can only be honed on the battlefield. Hmm. The world. Long map. The answer eludes me. Does my life...
Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your eyes peeled. I confound it all! Are we mortals so powerless? If there's aught you seek to know, do some research. I suppose I have little choice but to entrust it. If there's aught you seek... Does my lifelong work hold no meaning? I must remain calm, twill all... The world is in an unfathomable state. Heed your senses. If aught feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise.
dream, but I feel as if I am possessed of a greater power. have us press on without delay. By your will arisen, let us defer to the arisen's judgment. Right you are. My mind is clearer than ever. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by...
One might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes.
arrogant sagacity, when could this be the come? Focus on the battle of hand. Everything else will wait till it's felt. It was an unsettling thing, that dragon. But what was it, truly? No foe is beyond our power if we are well prepared.